Howdy. <laughs> How are you? My name is Boyd Hemphill. I'm the director of cloud engineering at Contrast Security. We do IaaS and Gartner Quadrants, and we're awesome, and yada. Somewhere out there, tomorrow is a project manager looking for you because you lied to them. You told them you were going to get something done. You told them you were going to make a deadline, and you lied. You lied because interrupts. You're interrupted constantly. We are a team that makes promises and doesn't keep them. And let's face it, we all feel bad about that, but we are serial liars. Because there it is, folks, the pager. Why don't they call themselves like uh, mobile duty or something? I don't know. Anyway, so we're serial liars because we haven't recognized that we are first responders first. Okay, and who is the ultimate first responder? The ultimate first responder is Batman, and I'm gonna tell you how he works to save us. You see, Batman's fun. Batman's easy to remember, and most importantly, Batman's not literal. So when you need help, you just say at Batman in Slack, and somebody is going to help you. What's really important for you is who that somebody is when you're thinking about implementing a first responder. You see, <clears throat> we have an entire human dedicated to the role. It follows our on-call rotation. You're on call, you're also Batman that week. Because on-call sucks, and if you have to wake up at night, you should be able to sit around twiddle your thumbs during the day. But really, it's about not having people have personal IT concierge service, right? I don't let people reach into my team anymore. Why? Again, because the rest of it can say, hey, go check out at Batman in operations. And we've trained the company. That's Pavlov and his drooling dogs. Remember those guys? Conditioned response. All right. I need to acknowledge this. One of my teammates pointed out, hey, this isn't a great idea because we don't want to be heroes. We seek boredom, right? Excitement is bad. He's right, but when you think about it, Batman is an anti-hero. Batman doesn't want to be Batman. However, Batman is polite and effective. Batman is affirmative communicator. Hey, I'm gonna get you that, and I'm gonna get you that now. Right now, Batman works in office hours only, and we are having a time zone problem. I'd, be, I'd love to hear your input on how we could deal with that. Batman has staff. While well, Batman is the only interface to you external people in my team, Batman himself can reach back into the team and say, hey, I need help with this. It's a great way for knowledge transfer to happen as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, that Batman staff. Batman is also a trustafarian because Bruce Wayne is a trustafarian, right? We need Batman sitting around because the busier a person is, the longer it's gonna take to get something. And remember, there's a management axiom. If you need something done right now, give it to the busiest person. That's a true management axiom. All right, you can't fight math, so let me explain this to you. If Batman is 50% busy, he looks like a slacker. But the math says that he will, get something, he will get something started in a unit of one. Let's call that one hour. Hmm, that seems reasonable. Superman, on the other hand, he's 90% busy. He really looks like a superhero, right? But really, the math says it's gonna take nine hours for him to get to the next ticket. That's a day from now when somebody needs something. Not so super, right? Hey, doesn't it look to you like Batman might be better than Superman? Yeah, all right, okay. At least in the context of what we're trying to provide, which is service to people who didn't know what they want when they asked us for it because they needed to get their job done. That is one of our roles in operations. So let me stress this one more time. Your boss and your team, if you are going to implement a Batman, need you sitting around twiddling your thumbs. How many of y'all are freaking out? Yeah, right? Okay, so why? What are you doing with that idle time? Well, you could work on an AWS certificate. You could uh, do anything to invest in yourself professionally. And we all have those HR and compliance things that we need to do occasionally, like you know, sexual harassment training or um, penetration testing, you know, that sort of thing, right? Okay, so idle hands can also pick anywhere they want. Batman can from inside the backlog. They can just pick their pet project, not project, pick their, pick their pet task. Engineers that work on what they want to work on are happy engineers. And oh yeah, humane work environment because a humane work environment. <laughs> Y'all are security people. You're not special. In operations, we've been trying to figure this shit out for 10 years. Don't reinvent the wheel. Come to the DevOps. It's why you're here. Don't do it. Now, some credit where credit is due. Yasser Farah and his team of badasses for the Batman idea at Allegiant. Dan, raise your hand. They're hiring. Um, Ernest Muller and his team of badasses at Alien Vault for the idle time thing. And my boss is for saying, hey, cool, you can have somebody sitting around. We're going to try this and see if it works. By the way, it did. We're hiring. Check out Brian Chow at our table. And finally, Cloud Austin tomorrow night. Come find out how we're going to use Robin to not make Batman so busy. And check out those two wiki pages. Those are our actual internal um, documents that I was allowed to publish for you to get the details. Thank you. <laughs>